Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of new IT Cosmetics products. So they sent me this huge package in the mail of all their new products and I was so excited to like dive in and start testing things and I was like, wait, I should sit down and I should film myself while I'm testing out these new products. So we have foundations, concealers, brow products, liner, powders, blush. We have like pretty much a full face here of new products from IT Cosmetics that are from Ulta. This video is not sponsored by them or Ulta in any way. These are all my own opinions and I just am excited about these products. Some really good things, some not so good things, but I'll let you guys know in the video, so keep on watching. I'm gonna start off with this Bye Bye Redness Moisturizer. And I always think that IT Cosmetics does really nice things for problem areas of the skin, like redness or rosacea or acne or fine lines. So I think this is a really cool like addition to their redness line. And basically this is what it looks like. It's just a very light mint pale green. It's $48, you can get it at Ulta. And it's just supposed to be a nice lightweight anti-aging moisturizer that neutralizes redness and kind of soothes your skin. No real smell to it, but I use the It Cosmetics SPF 50 like tinted moisturizer every day and I really love that. So we'll see. I wish this one had SPF in it. That'd be really nice. But it feels lightweight. It smooths on really easily. Definitely hydrating. For me, I don't have a huge problem with redness, but you know, while I'm like touching my skin, it does get a little bit more red, but we'll see if this kind of neutralizes it a little bit. Okay, so I let that sit for a minute or two and I do think that my skin looks pretty neutral It definitely looks kind of glowy and hydrated. It feels really good I think like if you have redness and you also need a moisturizer Why not try this one to kind of combat two things? But I don't think it's gonna like be enough to where you don't have to wear makeup over top, but it feels pretty good Okay, so next we're gonna go in with their foundation, which I'm excited to try. I really love their What is it the CC cream? So this is the Bye Bye Lines Foundation Anti-Aging Skin Smoothing Invisible Coverage. So it's just a normal pump foundation. It's $38, which I think is a really good price, especially for IT Cosmetics and for a high-end foundation. Usually IT Cosmetics is on the really high price point range, I think. Um, so $38 is pretty good, I think, for their foundation. I'm using it in the shade Medium Tan. Just gonna dot it all over. So it's an anti-aging foundation. It has like collagen and hyaluronic acid and like all these vitamins and peptides so it's supposed to be really good like skincare mixed in with your makeup so i think that's really cool and it's a sheer to medium coverage so we'll see if we can build this up to a more medium coverage because that's kind of what i want to go for today but i think that's really nice i think that's a good idea because everyone comes out with full coverage foundations nowadays like it's really hard to find a nice lightweight sheer to medium coverage so I'm just blending this in with my complexion buffer from Eagle Tools. So blending it in, it feels really lightweight on my skin. It almost feels like I'm blending in like a thick water. Like it's very watery, really lightweight. I like that I can see kind of like my skin and my texture, like not texture, but I can actually see my skin through the foundation where it just looks like maybe I have on a little tin of moisturizer or I just have really good skin, but it's really evened out. And I think it's pretty, definitely has a glowy finish to it. It's very luminous, no shimmer or anything, but you can see like, I feel like I look very dewy. So I'll definitely have to set it with powder, but if you're more dry skin, or if you do want an anti-aging foundation, I think this is really pretty, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I like the color too. Medium tan was good if you're my skin tone. This next product is really cool. As soon as I saw it, I could tell exactly what it was. So it's called Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. So this is a drying lotion for pimples mixed with a concealer in one. I just think that is so cool and such a good idea because when you have like a spot, you don't really want to layer on makeup and make it look worse. You want to treat it, but you still want to cover it. So it's I just think it's such a good idea. It's $28 and I'm going to try it in medium tan since that color worked really well for my foundation. Luckily, I don't really have any big pimples right now, but I was kind of like, I had like some clogged pores, so they kind of left a little scar. So let's see if we can cover them. Just see how this wears throughout the day too. If this works, I just think that would be so cool. 
Okay, I'm just gonna tap it in with this little concealer brush from EcoTools. So the ingredients in this, if you're curious, tea tree, sulfur, witch hazel, and AHA, BHA complex. So it has some really good like natural ingredients in there to help clear up the spot. Okay, the color is perfect. I'm just lightly going over it with my finger to make sure it's all melted in. It has pretty good coverage, I would say. Pretty full coverage. With any concealer where I'm spot treating, I don't like to like blend. I just like to kind of tap it in. That's really cool. So I would just use this on spots because you don't want that like acne treatment under eyes. So I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot under my eyes. This is a weightless, smoothing, complete coverage concealer, $28. It's supposed to be a very full coverage anti-aging concealer. So I'm not a big fan of the Bye Bye Under Eye, the original one that's in the tube. It's way too heavy on my skin. It settles into, I don't even really have fine lines under my eyes, but somehow when I wear that, I do, and it settles into it. It's just really heavy for me, so I'm not a big fan of it. So I did actually test this out yesterday, and I did feel like it was a little bit creasy too. And normally I don't go for something in a pot like this for concealer. I like an applicator to just put it on really quick. You guys know I love the Tarte Shape Tape, so I don't think I'll stray from that. I really love that, but I do want to try this on just so you guys can see what it looks like. So yesterday I used shade medium and it was too light under my eyes. I didn't like the way it looked. So we'll try shade tan, but that looks pretty dark too. Maybe I'll actually mix a little bit of the two. So I didn't think there was like a medium tan. It was just medium and tan. So I'm just going to mix it and dot it on with my finger. which I also don't really like this application. Like I just think this is messy and it takes a lot of time. Okay, so here it is on this eye. Now looking at the two, I mean, you can tell that this eye is a little bit covered up, but I don't think it's a full coverage look. So I do like more of a full coverage look under my eye. So I'm actually gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape on the other eye and we can compare because this is also marketed as a full coverage concealer. I think it's in that $20 range as well and from Ulta. So I just am curious to compare and see what you guys think. So I'm using this in shade medium. I use the tiniest little bit of this concealer as well. So here's the difference between the two. Tarte on this eye, It Cosmetics on this eye. It's not an overwhelming huge difference just looking at me, but because I look at myself every day and I compare concealers and foundations and stuff, I see a difference with this eye. I think it's just neutralized a little bit more of my dark circles and I just like the look of it better. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this on. However, I know that a lot of people really, really love the original formula of that Bye Bye Under Eye. So if you love that and you've been wanting to try out this one, I mean, definitely try it out. It's just not a formula that works for my skin type. So I do think that the Tarte Concealer covers. However, I don't think it really brightens per se. So It Cosmetics also just came out with these, which I think are really cool. Perfect Lighting Radiant Touch Magic Wand. My mom was gonna love this. It reminds me of the YSL Touche Claw which we both love and it's so expensive. So this is $29, a lot more affordable. It comes in three different shades. So I'm gonna try this. Basically, it says it's a magic wand of light and lift. It's supposed to conceal, correct, and brighten the under eye. So I'm gonna kind of use this in all the highlight areas. Normally when I use the Tushy Claw, I haven't used it actually in a couple of years, but when I did use it, I would put concealer or foundation on and then do this kind of like in the same step. So. I just have to decide what color. I think I'm gonna go for the middle color. It's just called Radiant Neutral. Just clicking and clicking, waiting for it to come out. Oh, here it comes. Okay, let's try this. I don't know how much to use. Kinda just where I want brightness. Let's just do these areas. Just pouncing it into the skin. Yeah, this is really pretty. Gives your skin a nice glow, brightens, but it's really light. I'd even be curious to try this when I just have tinted moisturizer on and just wear this kind of by itself. 
that's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but in person it just looks like really bright, glowy, and fresh. It makes your skin look really good. That's pretty. I really love the way this is looking. So now we're gonna test out some of the powders. They've come out with what feels like about 15 different powders. So I'm gonna narrow it down to like two and just test those out. Of the powders we have to try, the CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50 UVA UVB Illumination. That sounds really cool. We also have a Bye Bye Breakout Powder. So if you have any breakouts, oily or acne prone skin, kind of like a translucent powder for you. Bye Bye Pores with Illumination, a translucent powder to kind of give you a glow but fill in your pores a little bit. I kind of want to try this one. And a Bye Bye Redness if you want to neutralize any redness in your skin. So I don't really have any redness. The foundation, the concealer really took that away. So I'm not going to go for this one today. And I don't really have any acne, so I wouldn't really be able to tell how this works. So I don't think I'm going to try this one. I think I'm going to go for the Bye Bye Pores and the Perfecting Powder. Quickly, I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier to set under my eyes because I don't think these are really meant for under eyes. I think they're meant for the rest of your skin. So we'll just do this really quickly. We're gonna test out the Bye Bye Pores Illumination. It's supposed to fill in your pores, highlight them, camouflage them while still giving you a nice glow. So that sounds really cool to me. I guess I'm gonna try it with this little sponge it comes with. I just feel like you'd wanna like pack it in to hide the pores, right? I hope so. I could have just messed up. No, fixed it. Okay. I'm just gonna use a brush. Okay, I do think that really set the makeup well and kind of camouflaged my pores while still giving me a glow. But I do think it's like you kind of have to be light handed with it because it says translucent, but I feel like not that it has color to it, but it dulled the color of the foundation a little bit. So just be a little bit more light handed than I was, but I do think it's a really pretty finish. I can still see glow and life in my skin, which I like. Okay, so on the rest of the face, I'm gonna use this one. Maybe this will kind of bring back some of that color. Yeah. It's really pretty. I also have the Bye Bye Pores Blush and Sweet Cheeks to try. This is a really pretty peachy color with some gold shimmer in there, which is right up my alley in terms of blush. So let's test this out. Okay, that's really pretty. It kind of has like that highlighter built in, gives you a nice glow. Okay, I'm gonna do some bronzer and then we'll move on to eyes and brows. I went ahead and put some bronzer on, I put a little bit of shadow through my crease and my lips. If you're curious what's on my lips, it's by L'Oreal, number 342 Tongue Tied. I'll leave the exact name down below. It's just like a matte liquid lipstick. So we are gonna use the last couple products. There is a brow powder, a brow gel, and a liquid liner. So we're gonna test them out. The powder and the liner I tried yesterday, so I already have a little bit of an opinion on them but I haven't tried the pomade yet. So let's go ahead and start with the powder first. And it just looks like this. It's kind of like a taupey brown shadow. It comes with, or maybe this is separate. I think this is separate. A little angled brush and a spoolie on the other end. So it's supposed to be a waterproof powder formula that makes your brows look more natural, not flat and not like you just filled them in. And it came at a perfect time because I've actually been wanting to start using powder again on my brows. I've been using pencil or like a, yeah, I guess like a pencil for about a year now, or maybe even longer. And I've been wanting to switch it up back to powder just because I always thought it looked like soft and it was easy to get the exact shape you want. Sometimes you have a little bit more control with a brush. So I think it's really pretty. I like the color too. Just called Universal Taupe. And this is the pomade. It's also waterproof just to hold your brows in place all day. It has a really tiny little wand, which is different. Kind of like separates the hairs a little bit. I think it's pretty. Let's see how it dries though. Here's the liner, it's called the Superhero Liner. The packaging is kind of like a little magic wand. 
and it's just a nice felt tip. It's $24, so I think that's similar in price range to the Stila and the Tarte. Stila is one of my favorite felt tip liquid liners. Lately, I've been using the Kevin Aquan, and I really, really love it, but it's so expensive that I don't know if I just have to repurchase it because it's it's just so expensive that the Stila works just as good. So I tried this one out yesterday and I think it had, like every liquid liner has a learning curve to it, I feel like, and you have to test it out for about like three or four days to see if you like the handle and you like hot flows, you like the tip. Um, but as far as like formula goes, it lasted all day. It was so hard to actually get off at night. So it's definitely waterproof if you have problems with like um, like runny eyes or itchy eyes or anything like that where you feel like your liner smudges or moves around a lot Definitely check this out because it did not budge, um, which I thought was really cool So here we go. We'll do a little cat eye It's a nice shape to it too It was really easy to kind of get like a thin line and nice flick. So hopefully I can do it again today on camera Here's the final look. I really think it looks flawless. I think my skin looks really, really good actually in person. Hopefully in camera, you guys can tell as well. I really like the brows as well. So as far as my favorite things go, I really love this foundation. I think you can do a lot with it by adding different concealers and different powders. You can either go that really sheer route or that pretty glam, like full makeup look with it. So I think it's really cool. I always like to use anti-aging products. The concealer with the like acne cream in it, I just think is such a unique idea. So cool. The color was perfect. The coverage was really good. Um, I don't see any texture on my skin or anything. So this I thought was really cool. The brow product, I just liked the color. I thought it was nice. I don't know that it's really different from any other brow powder or brow gel, but now that I have it, I, I really do like it. And I like the color. It's hard to find like that perfect brow color, especially if you have hair like mine where it's like a bunch of different colors. So that is really a unique color and I do like that a lot too. As you guys know, I said I didn't like the concealer. That really didn't work out for me. I just think it creases under my eyes. It doesn't give enough coverage. But this little radiance stick I think is really cool and it's a great dupe for the Touche Claw. It just brightened, but it was lightweight and I just think it gives my skin a nice glow to it. So that was really cool. And hopefully you guys can tell with this liner, it's a different formula. It's like a drier formula, but in a good way. Like it kind of helps you have a lot more control and be steady. So this is really cool. If you're in the market for a new liquid liner and you normally reach for the Stila or the Tarte or the Kevin Aquan, maybe try this one. I think it's really cool. So yeah, oh, the blush I thought was pretty too. The powders were just okay to me. Um, I don't think it's anything that you need to rush out and get for the powders. If you want a new blush and you do have like pores that you think are more noticeable, this is a really beautiful blush. I don't have any highlighter on, but I feel very glowy. So overall, a lot of hits, a couple misses, but a lot of hits in this. Products that I'm really excited to use into the fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely check out some of these products. Let me know your thoughts down below, which, I, which items you're gonna pick up or what you're interested in trying. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Okay.